you give it up for the very funny Jeff Green fan, everybody? Hello, hello. I don't know what that was for, but thank you. Are you guys a couple? Are there any couples here? Are any of you guys? You guys? How long have you guys been together? Eight years. Wow, eight years I've been together. You guys ever go to Notre Dame together? I went. You went by yourself? Well. Well, you went. Good for you. <laughs> the news keeps getting worse about Notre Dame. I don't know if you saw um, today's news. Uh, it turns out that they weren't able to use the hoses on the church because of the delicate architecture. So what the Catholic Church decided to do was quietly transfer the fire. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to another diocese. <laughs> so I think everything's going to be all right. <laughs> uh, I'm a native New Yorker, but I just spent a long time uh, in Los Angeles, and people think LA and New York are so different. I like to focus on what we have in common. Both cities, we treat homeless people like crap. I mean, at least I do when I'm in both cities. <laughs> they want money, I don't give them money. I give more money to fountains than I do to homeless people. <laughs> homeless people should dress up like fountains. <laughs> they clean up, you know? Or start granting wishes. Come on, homeless people. When I was flying from New York to LA, I got stopped by the TSA. Because in my bag, the TSA, the TSA agent found um, my apricot facial scrub. <laughs> Let me tell you something. As a man, the only thing more emasculating than traveling with apricot facial scrub is having another man take it away from you. <laughs> I was like, come on, what do you think I'm going to do? Exfoliate the plane to death? Let me have my scrub. He's like, no, I can't. I'm like, I need it. I'm 48 years old. He's like, you don't look 48. I'm like, use the scrub. I'm scrubless. Scrubless, yes. <clears throat> I'm scrubless. Uh, when I was in LA, I stayed in an Airbnb. Uh, I read the reviews after I moved in. Did backwards. <laughs> uh, and I'm looking at all the reviews, and each review is attached to a profile. And then I realized I'm really just looking at a bunch of photographs of people who had sex in my bed. I know. And that's, I mean, when I go to a hotel, I know thousands of people have sex in the bed, but I can imagine them as anyone I want them to be. <laughs> Here I'm looking at a picture of a very hairy man from Long Island telling me that my mattress is firm. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was upsetting. When I was in Los Angeles, I learned a lot about myself. I don't normally drink, and I drank when I was out there, and I found out I cannot hold my rosé. <laughs> If you don't know what frosé is, it's all the disappointment of rosé. Uh, slushy. <laughs> and uh, I had two and I threw up. I gotta tell you, it tastes better going out than it does going in. <laughs> it really does. Uh, uh, when I was drinking my frosé, I, I was at a gay bar if the frosé didn't tip you off. Um, and I was at a gay bar because that's where they put us. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, um, I'm gay, and uh, I'm a native New Yorker, so I've, I've never seen the end of an evening at a nightclub in New York. You know? Whenever I leave a bar in New York, there's still more people more desperate than me still trying. You know? <laughs> but in L.A., the bar's close at a quarter to two. You, know? you want to see a gay bar at a quarter to two and the lights go on? Is everyone who couldn't have sex in a gay bar by a quarter to two. <laughs> and they all mill around outside the front door. And I gotta tell you, it was so sad. It was like the saddest picking of teams for shirts versus skins that I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I'm gay. Um, I'm not into it. Uh, I'd rather be straight. Sorry. I, mean, I chose poorly. Um, I don't know if you guys know it's a choice. I don't know. I, re I remember when I chose. It was a Tuesday. There's no take backs, so uh, <laughs> I am literally fucked. 
Yeah, because I grew up in a time when being gay was not cool. You know, and so like I didn't, you know, I don't have all the the, the pride in my my friends. Like you shouldn't you shouldn't say things that are like anti-gay on stage. You should be supportive of the gay community. I'm like gay community. Have you seen how gay men treat each other? There's no community. Gay men are bad to each other. If there are two gay men out for lunch and one gets up and goes to the bathroom, the other will talk about the other one just to himself. <laughs> We're mean to each other. We're mean. The meanest thing we do, we give each other AIDS. How mean is that? So mean. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. I know, right. Stop. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm 48 and I'm getting older and I, you know, my parents are even older than me. And so... Uh, Whenever they call, I'm worried that, you know, that's going to be the call. Because uh, my, you know, my parents are, you know, Jewish and everything's a drama. <laughs> and so I get a call the other day to my mom and she goes, Jeff, it's your father. He's in the hospital. He has the hiccups. <laughs> I'm like, what? She goes, yes, at your father's age, hiccups can be very serious. I said, Dad's 89 years old. At his age, waking up is very serious. <laughs> The doctors actually took my father aside and said, Mr. Greenspan, you suffered a minor stroke. And he said, really? And they said, no, we're just trying to scare you. Still got the hiccups? <laughs> and he did. He did still have the hiccups. And I said, Mom, what is it that you would like me to do? She goes, you could show a little compassion for your father. That's all I ask. I said, fine, put him on the phone. And so uh, I reminded him that I'm gay. And while you can't scare the hiccups out of someone, you can't disappoint them out. <laughs> He's better now. I'm Jeff. Thank you very much. Jeff Greenspan, everybody.